Depression, rugby, and me. I originally did a video about this on December 5th around two months before I started taking YouTube seriously and my channel started gaining any sort of real momentum. This week I thought about re-uploading it, as the reason I took it down was because without any context of who I am, people wouldn't understand it, in addition to the fact that it didn't exactly fit the style of video that I wanted to be known for and am currently making. But I feel now that with this audience that I never thought I would ever have, it's the right time. So here is Depression, Rugby and Me. So, rugby is special to me on many levels, but it's also the cause of a lot of pain in my life. And I'm in a complex situation where rugby is one of the few things that brings me genuine joy and happiness and a feeling of freedom from all the bullshit that goes on around me. But I also feel like it's the cause of my depression. It's, well, it's the one thing that I've cared about more than anything else and tried to make that my life and it didn't work. And I feel like since then I, I, I haven't cared about anything else at all in the same way. And I feel like that will, that's what makes me stuck and it's what makes me eternally just numb. And I don't know how to get myself out of it. I disappear. Even though I know I shouldn't, I just disappear from family, from people I know who care about me. I... I, I wanted to do... I wanted to be a professional rugby player so bad I moved away from my friends and basically didn't speak to anyone from school who I knew were my friends in pursuit of this rugby dream and it didn't work out for me and then that sent me into depression where I didn't speak to anyone who I went to college with and so I've tried to keep in touch with people but it's... I just feel broken and then I just feel so lonely all the time and the slightest thing just sets me off. And you, I don't know how to respond or to tell people that they, that they mean a lot to me. And, and that I need them I miss them and need to be around them so I feel like I matter or to feel anything and I hate myself because I can't do anything else and the one thing I thought I could do I can't and whenever I get like this I just feel crippled and This is how I feel all the time, and I don't know what to do. The thing that brings me joy also is the cause of my sadness, but I feel like it could be the only thing that gets me out. But I feel so upset that I haven't moved forward with my life, both in rugby and just generally. I'm just stuck. 
I feel so wet. All the time. And I'm not... <sighs> I just don't know what to do with myself. And it feels a lot of the time like I'd be better if I wasn't here. Even though that's the most selfish thing to think. I'm just tired of being me. Now I hadn't watched this video since I uploaded it, and re-watching it recently I was shocked if I'm honest, but it reflected how I felt at the time. I was in a fog of negative thoughts that I couldn't escape, consumed by anger, regret, and sadness with any sort of minor inconvenience setting me off. I would complain about the situations I was in whilst also not doing anything to help myself. I just didn't want to do anything. But this YouTube channel has given me something to do, something to love and care about that I'm truly passionate about. A reason to get up in the morning working on these little projects every day has given me the most joy I've had in years and dragged me to a place that I honestly never thought I could get back to. Like last week from Wednesday to today has been, in terms of luck, one of the worst weeks of my life. I had a copyright strike against my channel because someone from the Six Nation Rubby channel seems to be copyright striking every video on my channel even though none of my content is monetized. Putting the channel that I've worked so hard to gain an audience for and now getting the benefits from that in jeopardy. As well as the fact that a series that I've been working on is just dead now. Apologies to people who are fans of This Week in Rugby. Then having the channel not keep up the momentum it was picking up seemingly right after this. Then in a game I played on the weekend I was concussed and now I have a scar on my lip and won't be playing rugby for a little while. Then to add the much needed sprinkles on top of the this shit cake sandwich run of life form, England lost on the weekend. Which if I'm honest, any single one of these things I listed by themselves probably would have broken me and sent me in a self-loathing emotional spiral. And I was waiting for it to come, but it didn't. And I kept waiting for it to come, and it hasn't. I am by no means completely out of the emotional woods, but without getting too personal, I feel like I'm over the hill. It feels like the worst is behind me, and I'm en route to getting better. And YouTube probably isn't the best place to voice your inner most sensitive thoughts, and the psychologist probably would want to delve deeper into why a person in his darkest times would turn to a forum like YouTube. I guess that's a whole other thing. But I guess the long-winded point of this video is to say thank you to anyone who has subscribed or watched my videos. It truly means the world to me, and making content for you guys, talking about the sport that I love, has given me more joy than I could have ever imagined. So again, thank you. And if you're going through something yourself, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. I never thought it would be possible to even feel a shred better, but I'm happy to report change can happen. Seek help, get better, a little bit each day. I promise it will be worth it. Signed, NGJ.